Hey, what's going on guys? Simsy here from Disrupt Gaming, and in today's video, we're gonna continue our How to Attack series, moving on to Kitchen Service on Coastline. So if you guys want to suggest the next map or site we do in next week's video, make sure to leave a comment down below, like that comment if you guys see a site that you wanna see. But anyways, let's get into the video. So when it comes to attacking Kitchen and Service on Coastline, you're gonna wanna run a Zofia, a Nomad, a Yana, a Sledge, and a Lion or Dokubi. Now, if you also want to switch the Yana out for a Hard Breach, I recommend bringing the Ace. If Ace is banned, then bring the Habana in his spot. But that's going to be the lineup for this attack. So let's talk map control. So typically there are two ways to attack this bomb site. There is a horizontal attack and then a vertical attack. So let's start with the horizontal attack. So typically the map control that you're going to need is going to be Office, Blue Bar, Sunrise, and Cool Vibe Stairs to make sure that you don't get flanked. But realistically, that is all of the map control that you really need, although it will help to have somebody either on the roof or somebody somewhere on second floor around pool or aqua to help not only watch the cool vibes flank, but also watch luggage because a lot of the time people like to make an angle from luggage into kitchen to watch kitchen door and kitchen window. So you want to make sure that you can shut that down. So having somebody on the roof or second floor will do that. So a pretty easy way to actually get this map control is to have Nomad and Yana push through office, either having Nomad drone the Yana in or Yana use her clone to drone the Nomad in. And then the Sledge and Zofia are going to be pushing through Sunrise so that you can kind of get a two-way pinch if there's anybody sitting inside of office, blue bar, or Sunrise. The four of you guys should be able to two-way pinch anybody that is sitting in those areas and get that map control pretty easily. And when it comes to the line, he's going to be droning the Sledge and Zofia into Sunrise, and that's going to kind of be his main job. Of course, he's actually going to be the person planting in this case as well, but when we get there, we'll get there. So after you're able to get that Office and Sunrise map control, you're going to have Nomad air trap off the security door. And then from there, Nomad's actually going to rotate up because she's going to be the person that is sitting upstairs, not only watching the flank, but also watching luggage. And then she also has those two air jabs to help her out with that. So we're actually going to have Nomad rotate over to the hookah balcony and the good thing about this is considering you guys have sunrise control you don't really have to worry about too much in hookah um, or underneath hookah or worry about nitros or anything so all you have to do is drone out hookah base and then your close 90 slash close pool table and then you're going to be able to get into hookah pretty safely once you're able to get into hookah you're going to set up an air jab you can either do an air jab on vase or you can do an air jab on the actual stairs of cool vibes so one of the two and then you want to save that second or last air jab excuse me for the luggage door. So you're gonna make your way, once you're able to actually air trap off the vases, you're gonna to try to drone your way into pool and aqua and eventually luggage so that you can set that last air jab up on the luggage to top white door. And once those are set up, you're pretty much set to go on the top floor. You still wanna to have to hold your 90 on the Nomad just because that air jab is set up for the cool vibe flank. It's not really set up for your 90 flank, so you're still gonna to have to watch your 90 as well as be aware of that luggage air jab getting hit or not. But for the most part, you're pretty much set up and you just got to kind of hold your own flanks while your teammate is ready for the push onto the site. So this is pretty much all the map control that you need when it comes to attacking this bomb site. So let's actually move on to the attack. Just a quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying this how to attack series and you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell before you guys go. Anyways, let's get back into it. So at this point, you guys are almost ready for the plant. You want to drone out kitchen and see what's going on. You want to look for any shields, evil eyes, or bulletproofs. And if you do see any in there you want to burn the ADS and get rid of them and then at that point you want to see what plant spot is going to be the best so the two common plant spots are going to be kitchen window and then all the way in the back of kitchen by the sink and honestly the sink plant is hard to get into initially because you have to run across the entire site to get there but once you are there it's probably one of the safest spots for you to plant because when it comes to planting kitchen window they can throw a nitro from inside of service that your teammates can't really cover that well and you'll have to, you end up dying or you just have to bait the nitro, hop out kitchen window, and then hop back in to go for that same plant. So it's up to you where you want to plant, but kitchen sink will probably be the safer plant at the end of the day because not only is the plant spot really hard for the defenders to get to and or deny, but at the same time, it's very easy for you as an attacker to cover that plant because you can just sit all the way in the back of sunrise and make sure you can just cover the plant from back there. So at this point, you should be ready for the plant, and as long as Nomad is holding that luggage angle, you should only have to worry about lobby, square, and then anybody swinging the kitchen door from inside of service or the kitchen rotate from inside of service. So let's move on to the vertical attack. So the map control you need for that vertical take is going to be the entire top floor, but you primarily need VIP, guitar, 
penthouse and theater, but you also want to drone out hookah, aqua, pool, top white, cool vibes, because you want to make sure that you're able to get air jabs on those stairs, so you actually just need to drone out the entire top floor in order to actually get those air jabs set and make sure that nobody is upstairs. So a good way to get that map control is you have the Nomad and Yana enter in through Aqua Balcony, the Sledge and Zofia are going to enter in through VIP Balcony, and then the line is actually going to repel on the White Stairs window. The reason behind this is that's one of the two ways the defenders are either going to rotate up or rotate down when it comes to the roam. So having somebody on one of those two rotates is going to be pretty important while the rest of the team is taking all of that top floor map control. So the reason we sort of have a two to split across the map is the fact that you want to have Nomad and Yana drone out Aqua, Luggage, Pool, Vase, and Hookah. And then you want the Sledge and Zofia to drone out the VIP, Penthouse, Theater, and 90 area, as well as having that line just pretty much hold the White Stairs rotate to make sure nobody goes up or down. And then at that point, it's just a very fast way to clear the top floor. And you also have a pinch if anybody's roaming in Penthouse or Theater. You have a three-way pinch from the two people pushing through VIP, as well as having the line on the White Window and Nomad and Yana pushing from the other side of the map. So you just want to have two people on both sides just to make it fast to clear, but also you have a pinch set up if there is somebody roaming. Now, when it comes to the Nomad and Yana, you're going to want to make sure you have a pre-placed drone downstairs in office because it's pretty easy to get nitro inside of Aqua when you're entering in. So you want to make sure you have info on anybody downstairs inside of office to make sure you don't get nitro. And then at that point, you should be able to drone through, see what's going on, drone out Aqua, luggage, pool, hookah, once you're able to clear all of that out, Nomad will then enter in to get that air jab on Cool Vibes. While this is happening, the Sledge and Zofia will be doing their droning. They'll drone VIP, Penthouse Theater, Top White. And then once Top White is clear, Nomad should have air jabbed off Cool Vibes. So she can then rotate over to Top White and air jab type White Stairs. And then at that point, the air jabs should be set up. And you guys should be pretty good on the flank. And you guys can then move on to the actual attack. So it seemed like the LD5 weapon skin was getting a little lonely, so we had to come out with the new R4C weapon skin for Ash. If you guys are interested in getting your hands on this beauty, make sure to check out the in-game store, go to the eSports section, check out the Disrupt Gaming tab, and get your hands on this skin, as well as a new charm to top it off. So at this point, you guys are ready for the plant. So Nomad and Lion are actually going to rotate back outside. They're going to go over to the service door because this is where the plant is actually going to go down. And Nomad will then use her last air jab on the front door to make sure that nobody runs outside of that front door to peek anybody outside service. And then at that point, Sledge is going to open up the floor above the site. You can open above bathroom, service, as well as kitchen. And then if Zofia brings in breach charges, she can also breach above to help out the Sledge because there is a lot to clear. But at that point, you want to make sure you clear out bathroom, service, and the close to kitchen rotate. So anything close to that kitchen reinforcement, behind a shield or anything like that, you want to make sure you open above it with the sledge or the Zofia, and then pop the shields or evil eyes that are in the objective. The only area that you can't really open above is going to be close to that service door. So you want to make sure that Nomad and Lion drone that out, make sure nobody's kind of ratting by, behind that desk or nobody's sitting in the side of bathroom rotate or anything. You want to make sure you clear that out. And once that is cleared, you should be pretty much ready to go for that plant. So the two common plant spots are going to be on the corner tucked by that grate. Or if there is a bathroom wall that's reinforced, you actually plant on that reinforced wall. Considering you don't really have smokes, it's going to be one of the best plant spots. Now, if you do want to bring smokes on like a dokubi, for example, you can do that as well. But for the most part, those are going to be the primary plant spots. And as long as you're able to clear out bathroom service and that close kitchen rotate you should be able to go for the plant pretty safely there should be no way for smokes to come flying or nitros to really come flying from that area as long as you have it covered and while all of this is happening the yana is pretty much just trying to figure out what's going on and see where she can make a play whether it's walking down white stairs whether it's dropping square or even going down cool vibes to try and shoot some of the defenders in the back while they're focused on the front push so it's completely up to you but you're just going to be kind of the playmaker at the end of the round Anyways guys, that's going to be all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. And if you guys have any questions on today's video, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And more importantly, if you guys want to suggest the next site or map that we do in next week's video, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you guys see a site that you want in next week's video, make sure you like that comment as well. But anyways guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.